Welcome back, guys, to Pikmin 4. Well, last episode, our story began with Captain Olimar having become stranded on an unknown planet, leading to a rescue mission being sent out. However, the officers of the SS Shepard also crashed into the planet, leading to a rookie officer, me, being sent out to investigate. Landing safely to begin our search for the missing people, we located the rescue pub Ochi and joined together to reach the comms officer Colin before jumping into the borough of beginnings to find the SS Shepard's captain. And now, having reached the downship itself, start to refuel it with sparklium using nearby treasures. Alright, well, let's free here supposedly, but maybe we should go to the elephant in the room now. Or well, the onion, really. What's this? Is it a treasure? Lucky it's exactly free again. Good job, Ochi. Carry it just like that. <laughs> no, no, put your back into it. Remember to bend at the knees. Bend at the knees. Bend at the knees. Don't do it with the back. Micromanage. Huh? It moved! I don't think it's a treasure. <laughs> what could it be? It looks kind of like a plant. Could this be that thing Captain Olimar wrote about in his voyage log? He called it an onion. If this is an onion, then what is that sprout? Red Pikmin has been located. And the flowers opened. Oh my, I think this could be a Pikmin. According to Captain Olimar's voyage log, they're friendly and helpful creatures. Well then, maybe they could help us while we explore and look for treasure. <laughs> Just scared of it. I understand that. Look at that. Oh, she's already bonding with the Pikmin. Or it's hunting you. I don't know. You should introduce yourself as well, Olazandri. <laughs> and, um, Captain, how long do you intend to hide back there? You can select Pikmin with L and R. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Then press A to throw them, I believe. You get that. I'm guessing you'll bring him back too. Had to pause for cutscene. What? More sprouts? That red seed-like thing is apparently called a pellet. If you feed one to the onion, it will create more Pikmin. What a mysterious life form. No doubt A to get them all more in turn. Let's just hunt down any flowers we can in the meantime. May as well increase my numbers after all. Probably do need to uh, on top of that. Whoa, that's a lot of Pikmin. I can't remember which one this is. Is that a Game Boy Advance SP? Just looking at the, the thing. I'm just trying to remember exactly what console it is, but I think it's a Game Boy Advance SP. All right, we have buddies now, 13 total. I see something sparkly way up there. There it is, Game Boy Advance's <laughs> feet. That was close, too close. Maybe I'll just send everyone. Everyone get to work. I don't know whether any more is, but... This will speed them up after all. Any more shiny things around? 
Oh, there's one. That's 150 worth, is it? Another treasure collected? I guess you got confused. Now, which is the button I can do to, like, move my Pikmin in, like, a do 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 way? I guess it will tell us in time. Can usually only apply twice the amount maximum, right? Let's test the theory. Yeah, just trying to remember everything. A bell for a bike. Huzzah! You two make a fantastic combination, Alessandro and Ochi. Thanks so much. Yes, yes. Keep up the good work. The pigmen are very obedient. They move and work like tidy rescue pups. Now it's time to extract the energy from the treasure. Get started right away, Colin. Yes, that was a day. Energy from the treasure will soon be extracted. It'll flow directly into the SS Shepherd. No, oh, it's a collector's item. Don't do it. <laughs> That's just tap. So we have a habitat, we have a ship. Hopefully it's got some food on board, like replicators or something. We restarted the SS Shepherd using the sparkling extracted from the treasure. We did it! The ship's back online. We still don't have enough energy to fly, but now we can use the radar to look for our missing rescue officers. Excellent, Colin. Boot it up and see if we can pick up any signals. No. I'm picking up multiple SOS signals. They could be coming from our lost rescue officers and even Captain Olimar. And we don't have a moment to lose. Time to get rescuing. And so it begins. Day one, rescue two. Discovered free so stone of advancement. Noble pedant and path creator. <laughs> ding, ding. That's interesting. The ship is automatically naming the objects. <laughs> We encounter unknown objects and elements on our missions all the time, so I had a naming AI installed on our new ships. <laughs> Apparently it was co-created by a famous appraiser. It's more sophisticated than I expected. Pretty impressive. It is neat, but a backup power source probably would have been more helpful. Yes. I was worried when I saw the smoke billowing out of the SS Shepherd. I didn't know how things would shake out. My goodness, we were able to make the repairs! I've been roughing it for long enough. And there's something to be said for finally having a properly prepared meal. And you're sure we have enough emergency rations, Colin? We have no idea how long we'll be stuck on this planet. I counted our stock three times, but I can do it again. Excellent plan. <laughs> now, tomorrow, we'll focus on recons. You and Ochi need to eat and get lots of rest, Alessandri. But don't forget to review your missions before heading to bed. Count again, eh? The SOS signals we discovered must be coming from our rescue officers. Come talk to me as soon as you're ready. We also, if we're going to restore the SS Shepherd's radar and expand our search area, we need you to go out and gather more sparkling. We don't need to specifically pin any of them. Oh, I see you've used a pin. So then I guess I don't need to tell you that it's as easy as selecting a mission and pressing A to pin it and unpin it. I commend your instincts. Pinning a mission is a great way to keep track of your objectives and progress. Though I... Do both without having to pin any of them. Either. Day two begins. I guess nothing wants to try on with our spaceship, but the onion goes up. So far. All right. I guess this is everyone. Hi. I call this strategy meeting to order. Copy that. 
Here's the latest status report. Richie. As of today, two rescue officers and one rescue pup have been recovered thanks to the efforts of Olazandri. However, the whereabouts of the other four rescue officers remain unknown, and the SS Shepherd is out of commission. Hale. All things considered, our primary mission, the rescue of Captain Alamar, has run into some roadblocks. Oh. Our first priority is now the search and rescue of our fellow rescue officers. Olazandri, Ochi! Fly to the area where our radar picked up those distress signals and try to track down our missing personnel. Colin and I will remain with the ship. We'll provide direction and guidance from here. Mira? Don't worry. We'll be available via the SS Shepherd's wireless communication at all times. You'll have our full support. Spotty coverage oh. then. I wouldn't typically assign so much responsibility to you a rookie, but after seeing you in action, I know you can handle it. Plus, you'll be in good pools with Archie by your side. You two make a great team. Huh? Captain, what about our search for our Captain Olimar? Should we officially put it on pause? Marco. No, we may still find him during a hunt for the other rescue officers. I'll keep it on our mission list, just in case. Oh. On that note, I hereby call this strategy meeting to a close. Perfect. Copy that. <laughs> you put your hand here when you say copy that, do you? Captain Olimar is shipwrecked on this unknown planet. To discover his whereabouts while you search for missing rescue corps officers. Alright, so what are we up to? Are you free to chat real quick? Oh, you want me to chat with you, do you? I just seen an option for me to just get some more Pikmin quickly, so I'm gonna take it. These flowers have respawn. Let us birth more before we go anywhere. But it just seems we are incredibly trapped in a small area, to be fair. They were bad to increase the size of our armada. What's going on? Huh? The onion stopped spitting out seeds. Based on life signs from inside the onion, there are clearly more Pikmin in there. Every Pikmin have evolved to self-limit how many can be out on the surface at a time to prevent unnecessary loss. 20? Well, I've increased the size of you, so why it not puts them in? I'm assuming we're not staying here because it's really trapped in. Okay. Ever since you started, your hard work has really saved us. You're the rising star of the rescue call, that's for sure. When it comes to exploring uncharted planets, danger is just part of the job. Still, I have no doubt you'll manage. How can I be so certain? Because I have two eyes and I can see your potential plain as day. I hired you, didn't I? Did you? You'll be pleased to learn that I installed a few new apps onto your tablet. I'm sure you'll find them more than useful when you're out in the field, so check them out when you have a spare minute. Hello? Now that we have that sorted out, are you ready to get out there and explore? Okay, uh, ready to explore. Well, we can chat first. I'm just so relieved that you got my SOS signal in time. I was in a panic as I tried to escape the spaceship. If that signal didn't work, I should have to even think about it. Let me know when you're ready to explore. I'll be right here waiting for you. Which area would you like to explore? Questions, what areas can I explore? I can't fly after all. Sun Speckled Terrace. It looks like there might be missing rescue officers here. Or a missing rescue officer. We need to get out there and find them. Oh, you're staying here, are you? I guess. Oh, the onion's going too. I kind of need it. <laughs> Rescues, treasure, and onions. I kind of like that it says guest, guest, guest to make you wonder. Progress is there for a full marker, but still. You won't know until you've got them all, maybe. Or, to be honest, maybe there's a certain point where it tells you how many are maximum here. They said they were staying with the SS Shepherd. Yeah, just because they want the easy life. How dare they? Okay, we're invading someone's garden.
on the call? Come in, come in. This is Colin. Looks like you made it there in one piece. Hang on, I'll have the captain explain how today's rescue operation will work. Us. See the clock at the top left corner of your screen? It's set up so that the hand will reach the rightmost edge of the area's local sunset time. Search for our missing rescue officer during the day, but hustle back to the rescue command post before dark. I'm on the job. <laughs> Try to remember that you're supposed to respond with copy that. Anyway, get out there and make us proud. Oh, you probably noticed that the onion accompanied the SS Beagle. According to the voice log, the onion also serves as a form of transportation for the Pikmin. We've got a lot to do and could take all the help we can get. I think you could put those Pikmin to good use. Ah, time! No time limit, maybe? Auto button. Hello, hello. If you need to complete a task, press A. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I've got to bounce on it. Twenty needed for that. Anyway, I'll just uh, collect the flower buds first, and then get to work after that. The baseball up there. I'll just dump these guys here then. Not twenty. Twenty times one. That's a pretty rock, isn't it? It doesn't seem like treasure, but it might be useful. I'll check Captain Olimar's voice log. Raw materials. One could mistake this raw material for a simple stone, but it has more in common with amber and other fossilized biological matter. When heated, it melts into a brown clay and becomes malleable. I should be able to find many applications for it. I'm a fair hand with machines, but I don't know much about material science. <laughs> if we add our scientists back, I bet he'd be able to make good use of this. Collect it for now. He'll be excited to have something to work with after we find him. Oh, I mean then. <laughs> Did they accidentally take it in? <laughs> Got swept in. That was kind of cool. Swept in by the carrying type. Pile of raw material is transported. Okay, then. Where to go first? Of course, we instantly killed the first bulb we saw with no remorse. Harmon. Come in, Alessandri. I forgot an important detail. That is, you're going to need Archie's help when it comes to searching for the rescue officers. Bye. He has a sharp sense of smell, so we'll be able to locate the rescue officers by tracking their scents. Use Y to open actions, then use L to select a search command. To begin with, Commander Wachi to pick up a scent. You never know where his nose may lead you. Rescue operations are a race against time. So put your Dandori skills to work to find our rescue officers quickly. Dandori? You look a little confused. Have you never heard the term Dandori before, Lazandri? <laughs> How to explain? Dandori is the art of organizing your tasks strategically and working with maximum efficiency to execute your plans quickly. Its practice has fallen by the wayside in recent years, but it's still a core tenet of the rescue course, so take it to heart. Praising the art of Dandori is essential to our work, and you'll need it out there while searching for our rescue officers. To get things started, open Y actions and command Ochi to sniff out our missing comrades. Instantly commands to look for it said treasure on the. Oh. How many. Do I have to hold it? I do have to hold it. Hey, treasure nearby. Oh, there's treasure nearby. Where oh. they're on it. Oh, you get materials for doing that. How much materials? One, two. Oh, they already lined up to do it. Is that a cave? 
Look, there's a cave here too. Oh, this area is crawling with creatures. Our rescue officers could have retreated into the cave to get away from them. Well, we should probably take a look inside. No, oh, Archie's trying to look for a treasure. Oh, the treasure's down in the cave. The treasure's down in the cave. Whoa. Pretty far from the SS Beagle, you're telling me. We'll head back soon enough. What's this about? What's going on here? <laughs> Having a good time? Ooh! <laughs> yeah, quite a good time. Wait, this way's the quickest back? I guess it is when you think about it. Especially because all our red friends are completely safe versus it. Let's get all the goods. Me, I'm just greedy. I've got to get all the items. <laughs> I need my Pikmin squad. There's a cave to go into. Well, we should have some spare Pikmin at this point. We've got a fair bit back there. So there's a red ball over there, including a flamethrower guy that we could probably get both of if we wanted to before we go into the cave. Tablet says there's something new on it. Status report. Just showing us the stuff on the map here. Radar map. So that's got an enemy. Lots of flamethrower buddies here. I'll just jump in here. It'll be fine. I wonder if there might be a voice log entry related to these coordinates. Yep, here it is. Last Frost Cavern. I did a cave to look for SS Dolphin parts and found a creature that defies the logic of space. It further surprised me by expelling frigid cold air. Imagine if there were Pikmin that had been acclimatized to that cold air. This plant's ecosystem is full of mysteries. Boom. Take a look at this. That Captain Molomar certainly is fair, isn't he? According to the log, anytime you enter a cave, you should take Pikmin with you. Yes, SS Beagle can bring the Pikmin, so you can enter the cave without stopping by the base first. Pikmin that remain on the surface can't just be left out here, so let's return them to the onion for the time being. Oh, uh, okay. I don't know if this is safe to go into. It seems to be like, oh, you need Pokemon? Pokemon. No, I did it. Pikmin there. Acclimatized to the frost rather than the fire ones. <laughs> I'm sure we'll just jump in there and we'll be fine. Last frost cavern. Hopefully it's not a last frosty day. Obviously frost has got to be super effective against red, right? That's not going to be so good. Good boy, Ochi. He's picked up a castaway scent. It has to be one of our missing rescue officers. Time to get them back to safety. Oh, there's no timer down here. Oh. What's this? That's not treasure. Ah, treasure or not, it does appear to contain some sparkly. You might as well keep collecting those defeated creatures. They may be enough to help, even if only a little. Oh, okay. Oh! Oh, no, no, no. I want any more for that. Did you see that? It bloomed a flower. What's going on here? 
Hmm, that substance is called nectar. When Pikmin consume it, it stimulates their growth, apparently. The voyage log says that the more they grow, the faster they move. No. They really are mysterious creatures. Now, I always try to get them to crowd around on that stuff for the obvious reason of, like, trying to get as many of them to be higher level as possible. You treasure get. Oh, so you can do it by running them through it. There we go. Lots of flare pitmen. You need to run this way, quick. No way, Doggo got it. We found some ice Pikmin. Are these Pikmin too? Let's see. The voice log says, I always thought of Pikmin as plant-like creatures, so I never dreamed I'd come across an ice variant. Ice Pikmin can use their icy bodies to freeze water and creatures, but they also float like ice in the water. Don't spray them with water, though. They really don't like it. Their bodies are made of ice. Who knew that something frozen could move around like that? It's incredible. Huh? That seems like a lot of Pikmin. Is your squad bigger than normal? Oh, I see. When you're underground, you can have a larger squad because the wild Pikmin you find will join you. Good enough reason, I guess. Now we have ice buddies that can obviously avoid ice damage. I guess that's how I'm feeding from now on. Now, the more violent killer versions I see. Oh, 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 oh. An important discovery. Dig it out! Yep, two! Does it look like it's sputtering? It looks pretty pale for an onion. What do you think? Should we take it with us? <laughs> yes! <laughs> I didn't get an option. Oh, they got yellow flowers! I need another... I could have made it a quicker way through by the look of it. Flex partly and we just got to 501 for taking back that. Oh. I'm pretty good at collecting energy. Well, I'm trying. Come on. Uh, this onion is different somehow. Let's take it back to the surface so we can compare it with the other onion. That says puppies. <laughs> Bad Dandori, I'm sorry. But I also didn't have a time limit down here, so I don't really have to Dandori anything, do I? Look at this one, lazy there. Oh, they're, uh, they're turning it nice. Just like that, frozen solid. I bet you can break it if you hit it now. Give the order to the Pikmin or Achi. Hydro Jelly Burst.
I think I got them in flower mode too, you know? All right, well, we've got a guy to save over there, but we've also got a way out over there. So I'm just wondering if, of course, we just let them get to the thing and uh, get my whole squad together. We can freeze our... Wait, can we freeze our enemies and then smash them? <laughs> then I won't be able to collect them for bio stuff. I don't know. We'll have to see. <laughs> we found a castaway. Hurry and check their vitals. Pulse, blood pressure, temperature, all within normal parameters. Looks like their life support system did its job. We should transport them back to the SS Beagle and verify their ID badge. Okay. I get you. Oh, actually. <laughs> there you go. My Dandori is lacking. But I feel like I've scrabbled to get all the items I wanted to collect. You know what I mean? No treasure. You did it! Let's take a look and see what the ID badge tells us. Hey, this is... Russ, an inventor, material engineer, and lover of all things science. He can develop all kinds of useful gadgets with the right raw materials. Hey, he's bold. Aww. Oh, thank the stars, he's all right. This is Russ, the scientist in charge of repairs and upgrades for our spacesuits and the SS Shepard. His technical knowledge will be beyond helpful during this rescue mission. Found the scientist. <laughs> You found Russ, the rescue corps talented scientist. Keep searching for the rest of the rescue officers. Oh, he's not picking up on anything. Oh, you're talking about Ochi. I say that looks to be the place. Apart from maybe a little bit of eatery there. That seems to be our new method of doing that. Looks like everyone is a flower Pikmin. So let's just leave via the main exit. May need to do that to get it clear. To be honest, I don't think I can get out the other way, can I? Maybe. Pikmin currently outside your squad will come with you. We rescued Russ. We got refreshing goo, which is paint. Creatures, we got 17 of them. Or well, seven of them, we got 11 from them. And the director of destiny, a compass. And by look of it, that is 100% completion. No one lost. Excellent, the sub-level details too. So, that's... Our slight bit of exploration of the gameplay loop, I guess. Now, more. More to come.